What's going on, man? It's your boy, Mac Clock Beats, man. We live with Producer Grind, man, doing a beat breakdown for Help Me, man. Let's get it. let that Mac fly there like my nigga dope. I knew Boss for about roughly four years, four and a half years, almost five. Uh, we met Miami, uh, just cooking up. Hella songs, too many songs, bro. Me and Boston got probably like 500 records, for, for real, on, like, on a serious note. I honestly can't even tell you like how this song came about because when I made this beat, I made it on some quick shit. Like this is a quick beat, probably like a 20 minute beat, you know what I'm saying? Just running through beats, you know what I'm saying? Through a night. And I don't even remember when I made it, but I remember when I sent it. I sent it with like a whole bunch of beats. I, I, I wasn't sure he was gonna even gonna pick nothing like this, you know what I'm saying? Cause usually he'll pick my dark shit. Shit, boss can hit like 12, 12 to 15 records. But on a rough night, he'll do like eight, eight, eight to 10. Uh, I love I love the song, but I, I I didn't think it would it would get this big, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know how big it's gonna get, but now it's on Hot 100, you know what I'm saying? It's lit now. It's global right now. TikTok trending. It's number one urban right now. It's lit. Not necessarily the crazy story. Always crazy story was it's always gonna be the, the the one, you know what I'm saying? That because it's iconic, you can hear my tag more, like, but you can hear my tag more noticeably on this, cause crazy story at the beginning, and it, and on this on this one, it's placed way better, you know what I'm saying? Uh, no, nah, I didn't have it in my head. I just played it, played it out. Every every melody that I usually do is usually freestyle. When I laid out the melody, I wanted, I did want it something that switched up a lot. So I did three different switch ups. You know what I'm saying? I started out with the pianos. It started out like this. Started off slow. Then I used a little something to age it. <laughs> age the beat. Took some low end out. They made another part to get a beat of bounce when I add 808s. I wasn't like favorite pianos to use? Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys. But I ain't use Alicia Keys on this. I use Atmosphere. Dead after that, I added the, the vocal. You know how that went. Okay. Yeah, I did two separate ones back and forth. And after that, I came in with a low cymbal. You know what I'm saying? Came with a low symbol. You know, with a low little symbol. Put gross beat on it. Started out like this, really. And you can see what's going on. Little velocity changes. After that, age, age that one too. Blended it together with the intro. That's why people probably think it's a sample because of that. Just because of the Simple. How important you think it is for like that vocal to be in that beat? Like if you take the vocal out, you feel like the beat will hit the same? Hell yeah, by far you want to hear it. Still hit. But the vocal is just, you know, I usually don't even use vocals, but it gave it some sauce. So I can't even sit here and bat like nah. It mm -hmm. gave it some sauce for sure. Then after that, started out with the 808. Not, I ain't started with the 808, but I started off with the hi hat and the Like the real hat instead of the symbol. Just started off with that, some simple, simple little hops. So kind of like talk about your approach with the 808. I realize with like some of your beats, like your 808s kind of do like a little running cadence, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, because I play, I play, I actually play my 808s out on, on the keyboard, so mm -hmm. on the MIDI. Real simple. <laughs> it was still simple. Simple. Simple trap shit. Simple always give you a hit. You know what I'm saying? Always remember that. Being simple and using the pop format, you will always win. Making a, a chorus, a hook, and a bridge, and repeat. You're going to always come out with a hit. Then I added the symbol last, though. Put it on top of the put it on top of the 808. That's it. Then made a breakdown. Bro broke down the 808. 
number one thing you gotta have some saw, man. <laughs> That's the secret, man. You gotta be calm when you make it a beat. You can't just be rushing no beat. I wanna go ahead and talk to you about a free pack that you could download. The link is gonna be in the description and it's called the Trap Genesis Beta Pack. This is a free pack that is over three and a half gigs full of sounds, including melodies, drums, midis, drum loops, all types of stuff. So with that being said, make sure y'all go download that free kit. Now let's get back to the rest of this interview. So what's five studio Simpsons? Uh, five things you got water, in the studio? sometimes gum, za, and for me, food, and anything that can keep you in the studio. So, so if you play games or something, get you bring you a PS5 to the studio or something. But if not, uh, if you fuck with hoes, bring some hoes to the studio. You never know, you know? Whatever keeps you in the studio, that's that's your essential. But for me, like, I really don't need that much in the studio. I just need my laptop, me. And I really don't even need Za, but it keep me calm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cause I, I'm I'm just a hyper person automatically. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. But yeah, as long as I'm calm and I ate good, I had a good day. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm in the studio. I'm locked in. You know? Kind of talk about your process arranging it. How important oh yeah, arranging, it was simple. Mm -hmm. Like I said, intro, chorus, hook, verse, bridge, repeat it. You can actually look at it and see, it'll show you, you know what I'm saying? It's the same thing over and over, mm -hmm. if you look at it. That will help you though, it, it'll keep the consumer focused on the song, you know? Where you get your sounds from? But I've been using the same drums for like five to 10 years. Producer Grind too. Definitely I get a lot of sounds off of Producer Grind. They got a lot of free sounds, especially I got my Spins 808 off of there. DB too, definitely. That's my brother, man. DB definitely plugged me. Jacob, those who I'm getting my sounds. I mean, my, my 808, some of my drums. Hendrix too, I got a lot of drums from Hendrix too. A lot of my producer buddies really gave me drums. Like, I'm not too big on putting sounds on my computer anyway. Like I, I'm straight with, when I started off on FL, I used to use stock sounds. You know what I'm saying? I made a lot of hits, even on Reason. When I made beats on Reason, I didn't use no BST. You know what I'm saying? I didn't use a different BST. I just used regular stock plugins, you know? I try to make my sounds. That's the, that's the thing, Play just play with, I don't know what it's saying, but I'm playing with it, you know what I'm saying? I'm playing with the plugin and you never know what to come out of it. What's the secret mixing sauce? Put on it. How did you make the beat sound so good? They want to know what secret <laughs> VST plug Ain't no, <laughs> ain't no secret VSTs, bro. It, it's barely VSTs on here. I'm, I'm gonna click through it. It's recording the screen, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna click through it. You see, it's only gross beat. That's, that's all I really got on here. And uh, and level leveling things out. That's it. But I did use this picture though. Hold on, I'll show you. Oh, it's just picture. It's just picture. That's all it is. That's all. It is. <laughs> That's it. You know what I'm saying? And the phaser, uh, hold on. Go put it real low. Put it like right there. Turn the dryness up. And that's it. Or you can keep playing with this too. Play with that. Another thing I always say, everybody know this though, bro. Just take the low end out. Take the low end out of your, your melodies. Try to cut them all the way out. Or not all the way out, but cut them down some. It ain't nothing on my either way, but usually I would do this. I made this beat without thinking about it. I really didn't mix this. I didn't mix this record for her. You know what I'm saying? Didn't mix it. I just leveled everything out for real. How many layers of that piano is it? Just one. Just one layer? Yeah, it ain't nothing on there. It's only it's only that. The vocal and the drums, that's it. I don't I don't usually I don't like a lot of sounds in my beats either. That's why I really don't like using loops too, because sometimes people overthink on their loops. They add too much, it might be too loud for my liking, because I like a warm mix, you know? That's why the bass hitting so loud, because it ain't no, it ain't no sounds in this. It's a, it's a key skate. Everybody got that, like. <laughs> it's just the way I played it out. I kept it simple. Y'all that think Count though don't know how to play, y'all go watch the cook up. That shit dropping too, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, man. I, I you know I play by ear though. I don't know notes. I, I don't even know what a C note sound like, man. Oh God, oh God. I don't know how to read notes. I don't know how to read notes though. And that's what make art art. When you when you use your basil and your paintbrush, the way you want to use it, you are gonna come up with some with way better art than trying to do it the next like the next man. You know.
tell you about this crazy beat battle we are doing. We're flying out one producer to Atlanta to work with Sunny Digital, BB, Twisted Jeans, and a whole bunch of other producers. We're giving away a $1,000 cash, a $500 PG gift card, and we're giving away an expensive pair of studio headphones. Download our Trap Genesis beta pack. Like a fire beat with it. It gotta be 100% fire, bro. The producer with the hardest beat is gonna be the one that wins all these prizes. That's include a free collab with all these industry producers. They getting flown out to Atlanta for 100% free.